to us grace to entrust late Dr. Samuel Usaibobo Bermuda into your feeling love, receive him into the arms of your mercy, and remember him according to the favor which you have for your children. Grant that, increasing in knowledge and love of you, we may grow from strength to strength in the life of perfect service in your heavenly kingdom. You may be seated, sirs. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure inviting the speaker, the, 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 the servant of God, whom the Holy Spirit has prepared for the message for this morning. I present to you Bishop Dr. Oriname Oyonode Kure, the serving overseer of the evidence of the Gospel Church, Benin City, former president of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, Edo State Chapter, Bishop Kure. Please shall we pray. Our Heavenly Father, we give you praise, we give you glory. We thank you for the life that your son lived, Dr. Samuel Osaibufol Ubumudi. We thank you, Lord, for the impact of his life and service to mankind particularly our nation and our state. We thank you, Lord, for his family. And we thank you for the people that have gathered here today. Father, minister to us. Please encourage us and send us your word. In Jesus' name, amen. My message is titled, The Man and His Works. The Man and His Works. And my main text is from Revelation 14, verse 13. Revelation 14, verse 13. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead, we die in the Lord. From henceforth, yea, seeth the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. What you will be remembered for when you leave this world is your works we are grateful to god for the life of dr samuel osaibufol ubomodia dr samuel osaibufol ubomodia you have sown your seed of energy, love, time, knowledge, worth of experience, unfeigned skills, wisdom in the hearts of men, the state, and those states. When we remember in our land, in our great state, Edo State, the heartbeat of Nigeria, when we talk about this great man, a father and administrator, Dr. Samuel, 
Ogbomudia, we remember an astounding word which is legacy. Evidently, Dr. Samuel Ogbomudia, you have left behind undeniable, indisputable, and incontestable legacies that even formidable enemies cannot ignore nor erase. We are grateful to God for your life. You imparted this land, our own land, Edo State. You imparted Bender State, the former Bender State. You imparted Midwest State. You imparted our nation. You have imparted our continent, the continent of Africa. And your impasse without any reservation has been global. We are grateful to God for your life. Evidently, you were a gift to this nation. We will dearly miss you. Your life was positively and gloriously impactful. Although you have passed on, and yet you are not there. Your works do follow you, even as the night follows the day. Your labors and indelibly glorious and good works cannot be ignored, neither can they be erased, nay, not even by formidable enemies, nor the sword of human hatred. Well done, adieu, rest on. You will be generationally remembered for your good works. Dr. Samuel Osaibufo Obomodian a lover of his people, an absolute, a man that was absolutely committed to the love of his people. We want to thank God for the life that you lived. Evidently, Dr. Bumulium was a phenomenon, an icon, a legend, a colossus and have become a phenomenon and a generational star a positive and a glorious enigma we are grateful to god for your life with astounding impact and indisputable legacies the pride of edo people he lives on in the heart of many we want to thank God for your life. And I want to thank God for the family he has left behind. The children, the sisters, the brothers, the extended family. Our consolation is in the fact that our own father, who has passed on, have left behind indisputable legacies. And the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the God of our comfort, according to John 14, verse 18, He will comfort every member of the family, He will comfort the extended family, He will com comfort our land and the state, the South South. And it will comfort us as a nation. We are grateful once again for his life. And I want to say this, that the Bible says, Blessed are the dead, we die in the Lord. 
He has finished his own race. The end.